Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and I just wanted to make a quick video to follow up the one that I just made which was on how to give your Yorkie a bath. So I had so many questions about the same thing and when I get a lot of questions asking me the same thing, I always think it's time to make a video. This video is about how to get your dog used to taking a bath. So I know I can show you exactly how to give your dog a great bath and all of the steps I take and exactly what, at least what I do, but a lot of you were writing to me and telling me, you know, my dog is terrified, my dog hates baths, um, it's just a real battle when I'm giving my dog a bath. So I just wanted to address to you um, how you could actually start to go about getting your dog, getting your Yorkie or whatever kind of dog you have used to taking a bath. So for me, I always think that the very best thing that you can possibly do when you're trying to get your dog, whether it be a puppy or a full grown dog like Alfie here, who is four years old. Um, so slow and steady wins the race. My godmother always said that. And if your dog really just hates taking a bath or gets super, super nervous, there are a few things that I would do to help your dog ease into it. So the first thing that I would recommend is just to make sure that you take your dog out beforehand and you take a really nice walk so that your dog is actually tired. So if your dog is tired, your dog's anxiety is going to be a little bit lower and they're going to be a little bit more receptive to actually taking a bath. And the second thing that I would do is just to make sure that everything is super, super relaxed. You have all of your supplies and you're not going to walk away because if your dog is terrified and you walk away, your dog may jump out of the bathtub or the sink depending on where you are washing your dog. So the next thing that I would do if I were trying to get a dog that wasn't used to taking a bath used to it would be just to start with small steps. So I really wouldn't try to do this big, you know, let's say 10 or 15 minute bath. First thing, I would actually just get used to one step of the bath. Um, so say I was going to, say I had just adopted Alfie and he really wasn't used to being bathed and he was afraid of it. I would probably start with something really, really small. So maybe the first time that I would start, I would just work on washing his feet. I would give him a lot of praise. I would tell him what a great job he was doing and I would just quickly wash his feet very, very gently and then I would praise him, tell him what a good dog he was, and I would not try to do the entire bath. I think it's great to do things in a successful way so that your dog can get some confidence and then you can try something a little bit more. So a way to progress from that might be, okay, another day, maybe you know a week from then, something like that, once your dog has had a little bit of rest and a break from that bath time, is to say, all right, today I'm going to give my dog a mini bath. I'm not going to try to shampoo his head because of course that's pretty involved and it's the dog's least favorite part, but I'm just going to shampoo my dog's torso. Um, you could even do the back end of the torso. Um, I used to affectionately call that a butt bath when my dog Teddy was older and he needed to have that area cleaned separately sometimes. So I just wanted you to think about things in a different way and to realize that doing things in small increments is still making progress. And it's really important to be sensitive to animals. They can't really tell you what they want, but just giving them a little break in between things. And if they really hate doing something, don't do all of it all at once. Just give them a chance to get used to it. Give them a chance to be a good dog. Um, and then you can layer on the additional steps as you go. So a lot of you guys were asking for this. I really hope it's helpful for you. If you have any questions about how to get your dog used to taking a bath, please let me know below and I'd be happy to answer them and perhaps even make another video if there are you know, more questions and things that I could clarify. Um, if you guys are not following my channel, please go ahead and hit the follow button and also go ahead and like this video. It means so much to me and it makes such a big difference for my channel. Guys, I'm going to be linking to some of my favorite products in the description below, so please check it out below. My favorite shampoos, conditioners, and dog grooming products will all be there. Looking forward to talking to you guys soon. Thank you so much for listening, and please do keep sending me your questions. I'm happy to answer them and also sometimes make a video when I hear the same thing from a lot of people. Thanks again, guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and stay beautiful.